any judge of any quality, however superior, cannot be tolerated unless he is pure and honest. So on integrity, we don't have a problem. On competence, we already have different views about different judges. Uh, we have to be very careful when we start expressing our views on judgments, one. And number two, we have to keep in mind the kind of work we have in the Supreme Court. Seniority in the High Court is on account of their induction. The appointment to the Supreme Court is on account of their excellence in all the different attributes that are required in a judge of the Supreme Court. The four attributes may be the minimum or they may have other shades which we can add. But at the moment, the important thing is we should bring the finest material to the Supreme Court as Mr. Tarar just said. In this regard, it is also very important to keep in mind the kind of uh, work that is required in the Supreme Court. For instance, you would be amused to know that uh, there are 6,823 civil matters arising out of regular first appeals, second appeals, and civil revisions. 6,800. On the other hand, there are 10,118 cases pertaining to criminal matters, excluding NAB cases and bail applications. In 2019, we were informed that the criminal cases in the Supreme Court have ended and they have been finished, no pending case. Actually, what was stated was about the criminal appeals that were pending. But we have thousands of criminal petitions that are still pending. And Mr. Tarar is right in saying that we must look for a judge with criminal law specialty. Now, the point is that uh, in Sindh, you have to keep in mind the complexion of that society. And that was one of the factors I kept in mind. Number two, we want a gentleman who can be a good uh, support for a senior judge. Because if someone is coming for three years or four years, we have judges who can lead the bench, but they need support. What, what has happened, transpired today is that persons amongst members of the, uh, the commission who are familiar with criminal law, they have opined that the quality of appreciation of law as well as uh, record and evidence in Mr. Uh, Pulporto's judgments is very average. Now, my understanding from my conversations with people was different. Con conversations with persons who were dealing with him as advocates or as judges. But I respect that. And so I think to that extent, uh, we should go by the opinion. Insofar as the rest of your uh, desires or wishes are concerned, please understand that from day one we cannot lay down something and then discover that it's a straight jacket. It is constraining us. It is far better to discuss things like this. For instance, in the Supreme Court, we decide questions of law in constitutional matters, in civil matters, complicated questions of law, complicated questions of, for instance, tax, regulatory matters that come before us. And we are resolving those issues, so we need judges who have that capacity to interpret the law. One, we need judges who have capacity to deal with pure civil law. So it's, we have to make a mix and at the same time observe the kind of ratio that has been in practice uh, in the Supreme Court uh, for uh, representation from different provinces. In 1997, 
the Number of Judges Act, Supreme Court Number of Judges Act 1997, laid down that there will be a Chief Justice plus 16 judges. Now, I was looking at a chart that I have that uh, uh, to start with in 97, it was we only had 13 judges. The first time we had 17 judges was uh, a few months later, but then again it fell down. It fell down to 12 in 2000, and then it rose back to 17. The ratio, as Mr. Akhtar Hussain just mentioned, and I showed him this chart, for Sindh is mostly five judges, and for Punjab it is mostly seven and even eight judges. At times we have had eight, judge, eight judges, one of them being an ad hoc judge. And this is how it's been going, seven to eight. Balochistan has mostly had one or two, and in the year 2009, until the year 2011, we've had three judges from Balochistan. But back to one in 2011. And 2013 and 14, for some reason, there were, yes, there was no judge from Balochistan. So the figure has been varying but there is a certain ratio to which the numbers would come back. I want you, gentlemen, to understand that instead of treating this thing as uh, one unity, we must respect the provincial uh, entitlements. This has been done as a convention by the Supreme Court. So on that basis, what I suggest is we should be thinking of increasing the numbers. I have been, I have been thinking about this, and if you gentlemen agree, le endorse my point of view, and I can approach uh, the government for legislation, uh, for the amendment in the Act, so that we can have a couple of more judges. This will give us more freedom. And in any case, with 50,000 cases pending, we need more work to be done, which requires more hands. So that's the other thing. But uh, I would request you that uh, putting down things in rules immediately is a difficult thing. It's not that easy. If we sit down and start analyzing the different facets of a judge's character, his, his disposition, his uh, work and so forth, we might, with the time, with experience, be able to refine that. Today, I have seen that uh, uh, the the analysis of uh, uh, judgments by J Justice Tariq uh, is uh, uh, excellent remark. But incidentally, I have done the same analysis, and I'll just give you the figures. I'll just give you the figures that uh, how many. Uh, The data that you have from the data provided by the learned judges, and these are judges, all the judges from the Supreme Court and all the judges from the Lahore High Court, but obviously only one judge from the Peshawar High Court. Sir, one of the lowest figures for reversal of judgments by the Supreme Court is for Sayyid Hassan Azhar Rizvi. He has had the finest record in terms of judgments. Mr. Nadeem Akhtar, who is a very fine judge, sir, 15.8% of his judgments were reversed. And I'm basing it on the written data provided by him. If I go to Pulpoto, it is 18%. Oh. And uh, Shahid Wahid is 7%. But... When I look at the result of Shujat Ali Khan, it is less. But you look at his work. What is the diversity? Most of his work is uh, uh, in writ petitions. He is deciding rent matters and writ petitions, family matters and writ petitions. The main thing is the core work lies in appeals or revisions. He hasn't done that. He has never worked really on the civil side. So what we do today is let me request all of you 
to apply the same criteria. If you need more data, I'll bring the data. But if you connect it with the framing of rules, that will take time. We will be short of five judges next month. And we have 50,000 cases to decide. My request to you, gentlemen, is to apply your minds the way you have applied today so that we make positive progress when we evaluate the next candidates. Give me any more criteria, any more data that you want. I'll put it together. And you know, the, great, the other thing which I must inform you about is that on account of uh, the criticism that our registrar has faced, he has gone on leave. And he's told me, sir, I'm a grade 22 officer. I've had a good career. I can't work in these conditions. What is the result, Sardar Tariq Masood sir? Sir, I have written all this material. I had no assistance. So we have to work as a team and we have to build our team, strengthen our team. And that means that whatever we do, it must have a certain degree of coordination and understanding. Imagine the kind of proceedings we've had today and what we did on 28th of June for five hours. I'm so grateful to each one of you for being focused and for being so uh, uh, clear in your uh, uh, formulations and statements. So. Uh, with your uh, consent, gentlemen, let's uh, say goodbye to Mr. Pulpoto. And I think uh, to satisfy Justice Tariq Masood Saab, uh, we would say that uh, he has been considered but uh, not found fit for elevation. Is this what you want to say? not recommend it for elevation. Okay. okay. For the rest, we defer to meet again and for me to make further and other recommendations. You have given me some names. I want to, I don't want to discuss uh, my reservations about Justice Akhil Abbasi. I have material on that. Mr. Akhtar Hussain knows about it, and uh, Mr. Tarad knows about it, and I have mentioned to some extent Justice Tarek Masood Saab also knows about it. But today I will tell you that I will meet him personally, and uh, I will form an opinion about him. If necessary, I will request one of my colleagues in this commission to join me and we can have an exchange of, with him, exchange of thoughts and so forth. And uh, I'll come back and report that. In an informal meeting, without a formal meeting, I'll inform you uh, what my... I have respect for him. I, I mean, I have no connection uh, with uh, uh, Karachi, no personal likes or dislikes, but I go by the record. I know of three incidents which took place, but agreed, Mr. Akhtar is right, all these incidents took place after he was uh, 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 bypassed. Okay, let's see uh, if it is workable. Otherwise, I'll place that material before you and uh, you can think about it. Ji, ji, isko I don't want to change your opinion or to con contradict Sardar Saab. But one thing I'll say, that Mr. Pulporto, I know him personally, he was with me on the bench for six years. Achha. And he is, his honesty is beyond question. Tariq Saab, Sardar Saab ko jo khabar mili hai, mein wo uski had tak, kyunke inho ne ye baat yaha kahi hai, to I wanted to bring this. Ke, 
देखें नहीं सरदार साहब ने जो बात देखे ना वो नहीं देखे वो मैंने एक एक आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आई मैं इनको कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट नहीं कर रहा पहले मैंने ये कहा है मैं किसी को कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट नहीं कर रहा बट जब ये एक बात आई है इंटीग्रिटी पी तो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू ब्रिंग इट ऑन बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहे हैं एंड इट विल बी वेरी हर्टफुल फॉर हिम यस ये अगर ऐसी बात आप देखे ना सबको डेफर कर रहे हैं आप उसको वो कर रहे और आपने चार चार का वोट है इस वक्त तो फिर आप उसको ड्रॉप कैसे कर रहे हैं चार चार का वोट है अल्लेस यू देखे ना करें सबके लिए वोट नहीं तो देखे ना ये यही बात है ना नहीं मैं मैंने देखिए तारिक साहब तारिक साहब आप गुस्सा नहीं करें प्लीज मैं आप चले वी आर एट जर्निंग नाउ बिकॉज नो नो आई एम नॉट सर एट लीस्टर मी यू कॉन्ट डू दिस यू एग्री टू लेट मी स्पीक If you are going to do this, then I am going to. आप फरमाएं, फरमाएं जी, फरमाएं. आप प्लीज बताइए क्या कहना चाहते हैं? नहीं तरह मुझे आप में जब अग्री कर लिया उठ के चले जाएं ये तो सही नहीं है. अच्छा thank you very much honourable chief justice. शासन अगर तस्वीर रखें तो मैं continue करने की इजाजत दे. Sir, first things first. I like to call a state a state and. maybe i am not so flowery in my language but never to my conscious knowledge say anything wrong anticipated vacancies are an illegal illegality and unconstitutional look at the people in this room can they even contemplate violating the constitution of pakistan the first point the second point is on article 206 they seeking opinions from certain judges and not from certain judges or certain judges unilaterally writing to the chief justice i don't want to be here sir there was a time when you asked me this maybe even now i would have said the same thing does that mean anything are we making 206 redundant a person if a person asked and he says yes i want to be there Well, probably that's a disqualifying factor. The constitution has provided a solution. You don't ask, you don't hear a person, sir. I want to become a judge of the Supreme Court. Sir, I don't want to become a judge of the Supreme Court. If we start doing this, we are violating the constitution of Pakistan. We are talking about conventions here. I am talking about the letter of the constitution. Please do not violate the constitution. Please let us not rewrite the constitution. I don't have such powers. nor do i claim such parts then we have talking about there is another aspect we immediately disregard the chief justices after all sir you sit there because of being senior most your predecessor sat in the your chair because they were senior most of course the answer will come immediately the constitution provides that let us then not Uh, see the spirit of the constitution and other uh, reasons in the constitution who sits on the supreme judicial council the junior most judge in this high court no two senior most chief justices why we are that is the spirit of the constitution two senior most chief justice they can remove the judges in this room but but they are not fit <laughs> to be appointed as judges to the supreme court what irony so let's if we are going to innovate i do not like innovating with the constitution or playing with the constitution i go by the letter of the constitution when that is not available i look elsewhere in the constitution when that is not available i look to the spirit of the constitution they are what what does the chief justice bring to this court chief justice brings experience as a chief justice i was a i could call myself a fairly successful lawyer but what i learned as chief justice i never would have learned as a judge i had to deal with so many other matters you know it and all those who been chief justices know it as well it's all together a different ball game so we are saying 
Chief Justice says you have gained such valuable experience. You have you can remove us sitting on the Supreme Judicial Council, but we're not fit enough to be brought here arbitrarily. By all means, consider them, analyze them, reject them. I have no issue. Bypass them, whatever word you want to use. But let's not first in army faction say, who wants to you you and you are volunteering for the job. No, sir. This is first of all we are all. And I respect each and every one of you, great learned constitutional minds. If I was known for any capacity, it was certainly not criminal law which brought me to the Supreme Court. But what was I made to give? What work I was given for two years? Criminal work. The areas of my expertise I was not given. So to again penalize a chief justice or judge, oh, but he hasn't done this work. Is it his fault that he's not done this work? You're not addressing that. Naturally, can Akila Basi or can Pul Porto or whoever say, I want to be given that work? I considered Sardar Saab and his expert in criminal law. He sat with me in a civil law and I was stunned. His, his ability, I mean, for a person of this experience, it doesn't require much to shift gears. I hear cases of a law I've never heard about. And you know, need analysis, you need analytical skill. It is not after 40 years of learning if you can't do that. And if you don't know basics of civil law or basics of criminal law, then sorry, sir, you don't want to be elevated to the Supreme Court. You should be shunted out of the judiciary, full stop. I was stunned with Sadar Saab's analytical skills on civil law. I had the opportunity, a brief, pleasant opportunity to sit with him. As far as temperament, we're stressing temperament and law. Sir, I have sat with some chief justices. Shall I mention their temperament? They were obnoxious. What to speak of a good temperament? Sir, I corrected them. How many of us did? So the people in this room, I, I say with the greatest respect, don't mind my saying so. Well, they spoke. I said, I was scared of you talking about it. What would you make of the legal and legal? Not that they were, that was a style of speaking. It wasn't that they were down to it. But I got scared. I said, sir, it's fair. So I please, there is no disrespect intended and that's why I'm not naming them. So let's not make these artificial constructs and then fit a square into a round hole. So that is not on. And so with the greatest of respect and humility and the greatest of respect that I hold you in, you don't have the unilateral power to nominate anybody. You are equal. We, all of us, nominate, not you. Then we, all of us, carry one vote and decide. Hopefully it doesn't come to ballot casting and winning and losing. This is not about winning and losing. This is looking to the future. Now you are bypassing chief justices and senior judges. I have the chart before me and I just opened it on the internet and take for instance, Baluchistan. Baluchistan and senior most and the chief justice and the senior most judge will retire in a couple of years. There cannot be better judges in the entire high courts of, Baluchi, of Pakistan than they are. You have spoken about, I know this person and I know this person. Nobody has mentioned, I know uh, uh, Chief Justice Naim Akhtar on I know Senior Puni Hashim Khan Kakar. So, and to say that there are no other experts, Jamal Sahab Mandukhail is an expert in constitutional as well as an expert in criminal law. His name, why was, was it not mentioned? Because for the simple reason, you don't know. But you're not prepared to hear. Hear people. You will say, I met with the greatest respect, sir, you met Akhtar Saab and you met Fon, so, sir, we share a common boundary wall. You never meet me. So, but anyways, that's your discretion. I can offer some bad advice or maybe some good advice at time. So, these are matters of grave urgency. Criteria Commission Committee, I was not a part of it. So you, uh, you headed it. Uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, let uh, me continue. Please, 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 sir. Please, 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 please. please sir, patience. I heard everyone, sir. I didn't utter a word this time. So uh, I did not, and then you signed that we have to meet again and then you produce a criteria. So, sorry, sir, it is as a Muslim, it is my duty to, if someone speaks wrong, to say so. So that is wrong. Your own handwriting says the criteria has not been set in. Competence, integrity, can anybody say, no, we want incompetent judges. No, we want judges no, no, no. Uh, integrity. No, we want dishonest judges. That's a given. That's no fundamental brainer that I, we want this. We want how to analyze. Now, why are we dis discarding 
why you take choosing straight away going to judges who are at way 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 below the seniority is there any justification are we even no mention is made of mention is made of uh, ahmed ali sheikh one letter and he has what he went through is hell i went through hell i can say i don't want to be a judge of the supreme court so is that enough if i don't want to I'll resign but if you say want it's not a question of my desire i consider it my duty not my desire if it was my desire i would not be a judge one single day i have become a judge now i i'll do my duty sir chale ye aap kaisi sir i think the uh, super uh, सर इस्लामाबाद आते हैं तो आप इस अंदाज में मेरे साथ बात करेंगे जैसे आप कर रहे हैं तो फिर इनशाला देखना की हमारी कितने आपस में डिस्कशन होंगे मेरा अंदाज सर बहुत अच्छा है आप भी थोड़ा सा मेरा अंदाज राम सरदार तारे साहब मुझे बताएंगे अपने अच्छा चलिए ठीक है सर मैं मुझे सर से बात करने दें मैं चाहता हूं कि ये हम मुस्तरद करें इस बात को कि ऑनरेबल चीफ जस्टिस हैज सोल डिस्क्रेशन टू अपॉइंट जजेस मैं इस बात को इस बात पे वोट करें कि द जुडिशियल कमीशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान विल डिस्कस द मैटर एंड नॉट इट शुड बी डन यूनिलैटरी बाय ओनली कंसिडर द फाइव वॉलंटियर्स पुट फॉरवर्ड इन ट्रू मिलिट्री फैशन टू वॉलंटियर फॉर द मिशन नो Let's consider ten. Let's consider twenty. Let's Thank consider you. Thank uh, you, sir. Put forward data. Oh, and I would say always something. consider that. that can, sir, let me uh, just conclude. Uh, All uh, prior to that, I, that this is the decision of the meeting, not deferment. Sorry, this is the decision of the meeting that it is already. Uh, we have wasted a time. It's always thrown in my face. The no, meeting no, is no. being wasted. That is achieve no, something no, no, positive. I don't. Think, that is achieve no, something no. positive. सर ना मिनट से कुछ आएगा की किसने अपोज किया किसने नहीं किया कुछ ये उठ के चले गए मतलब ये खत्म ही नहीं हुई मीटिंग चेयरमैन उठ के चले जाए बहरहाल मेरा उनको फिर भी शुक्रिया